Hello everyone, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV and I'm going to show you around the 2019 Eagle Cap 1165. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe if you want to see more walkthrough videos. And as always, leave us your comments. We love to hear from you. So let's talk about this Eagle Cap 1165. It has a dry weight of 4890. The tank sizes, you've got a 60 gallon fresh water tank, 41 gallon gray, and 41 gallon black. Very spacious, 102 inch wide body. So you do wanna put this on a dually. Uh, back here, I'm sitting in the rear slide. Beautiful theater seating, and it's got some great features to it. First of all, it's pretty easy to notice. As a lot of you know, I'm only five feet tall. So this chair shows how spacious it is for someone who might be six foot or taller. It's got width to it. It's extremely comfortable. Um, it's got lots of leg space. If it's got a little handle here, that's gonna give you the footstool, but it also leans back. So it's, it's so comfortable. Now you've got the cup holders in the right and over here is the optional table. Pull this in real quick. This is the table that can swivel in front of you or you can just simply push it out of the way to get in and out. You'll notice on the other side, you this one does not have a table. So the table you can remove, you can take it out if you don't want a table but it makes it very easy to turn this into a place to work with your computer or to eat, uh, just whatever you happen to need this space for. So along with moving these tables any place you need them to be, you can also swivel them and they have a magnet catch to the wall to act as a side table. So you've got lots of choices. You can have no table at all. You can swivel it where you need it to go or you can actually attach it to the wall for a side table. Behind me, you can see the blackout shades. There are night shades all the way around on this camper so that you can uh, block out the sun, make it nice and dark in here when you're sleeping or at night if you need privacy. That's always uh, comfortable. The entire interior of the camper is gonna have LED lights on it. There are the center push button ones so you just give it a quick push and it's on and off. Let's take a look towards the entrance door over here. And this is nice storage. Now these shelves are adjustable or you can take them out and there is a hanging, uh, kind of like a rail at the top where you can put hangers. So you could use this for hanging clothes, for shelving, for a pantry, whatever you needed it for. There is a drawer underneath, kind of a nice space there. And then all of your controls are right over here next to the entrance door. We'll give you a close up of that so you can see everything. You've got your slide out rooms here and then some lighting. And then this is gonna be your awning. And we'll look at that when we go through the outside. Got a full 26 inch door with a screen. One of the things that people like about this theater seating in the back is you've got light coming in through the door. You've got a nice window behind you. I can lift this up to give you a little bit of a view here. And then on this side, you've got another window. So you've got windows on all three sides. You've got a nice light feature coming in on the back of this. Now, this is probably as good a time as any to tell you about the thermal windows. All of the windows on these, when you get the all weather package, are dual paned. So you've got insulated windows and let's face it, that's where much of your heat and cool escapes. Uh, when, with the Eagle Cap, you've got an R19 roof, you've got an R13 walls, and I believe the floor is R22. So very well insulated and then dual pane windows. 
Doesn't matter what the weather is outside, you'll be really comfortable inside. Uh, up here, you've got a vent. You notice there's LED lighting, kind of a mood lighting thing, which is very nice. You know, I always mention lighting in these walkthroughs because when you are camping and it's dark outside, if you turn on super bright lights inside, it can be uncomfortable. So I think the lighting is always important. And this recessed LED lighting up here just gives you a nice glow on the, on the ceiling. A lot of people use it as a night light. When you get up at night, you can kind of see uh, enough to get around or in the evening, maybe when you're watching TV. Uh, so that's very nice up there. This fantastic fan is got three speeds on it. So when you open it up, you can turn it high or low. Now, if you're in a, in an area that has great weather outside, you just want to get some air circulation. You can open, open some windows, turn on that fan and it's like an attic fan. It just creates a breeze in here, moves the air around. So very nice to have. Very common to put a vent cover up there so that you can leave it open even in the rain and just get some air circulation without running your fan. If you like to boondock, which is easy to do in this camper because you have a built-in generator, then that's a nice feature to circulate air because your air conditioner would either have to run off the generator or if you didn't want to run your generator, then you could run your 12 volt fan up here, get nice air circulation, just depending on the temperature and what you need it. Nice boondocking feature, but also really nice for just a little quiet breeze in the afternoon. All right, well, let's take a look around. I'm going to show you the galley next. Okay, so this is the galley of the Eagle Cap 1165. It is such a comfortable kitchen. I feel like I should be doing a cooking show. Uh, but I'm a terrible cook, so um, maybe we could have a cooking show that t tells me what to do on the 32-inch TV right here in the kitchen. Uh, this is a great view, by the way, from the theater seating that's in the rear of the camper. So it's nice to have it here. And it's not really in the way. It, it, this is such a great space. This is a thermoformed countertop. It looks like it's granite uh, or marble, maybe. I don't know but it's not it's a very durable lightweight surface feels very open lots of counter space right here i love the rounded corners you don't have any trim pieces to come loose uh, so everything is one piece they mounted the sink underneath so you've got an undermount stainless steel two sink a double sink uh I, it feels so spacious here the brush nickel faucet swivels from side to side. It also has a pullout for a sprayer. You can see it's a very nice sprayer. So this feels as good as the one I have at home. It is a single handle. This on the right here is such a nice feature. This is filtered water. So there is a filter that's changeable underneath the sink. Very easy to get to. Uh, that connects to your water filter right here so you can get drinking water out of this faucet or any water you want to cook with. And maybe use this water for washing dishes. That's what I would do. Everyone's a little different. Right over here to the right, this is just your control for your solar on the top. So this, this is a Go Power solar system and it'll give you readouts here of your solar power and, and where, it, where it's at. That's what that is. Uh, let's come around. This is the pantry that they have added on the end. Now it's not a very deep pantry, but it's enough to put cans, boxes, uh, anything that you want, and you have five shelves. So that's quite a bit. Nice, easy access. Coming around the backside, microwave on top. You've got a hood vent with a light and a fan. Stainless steel stove with an oven underneath. Now this has the, the grill on the top. I, I really like these grills with the gas stoves instead of the individual ones. I just find that they're so much easier to keep clean and you don't have any pots or pans that are falling off the edge. The entire thing is grated. 
very nice to work from. I love the detail that they put in the back, the little stainless tiles. You've also got the oven underneath. And underneath that, you've got a drawer. Can we get a shot of how big this drawer is? Now, like all the drawers in here, they're gonna have metal ball bearing glides on them, and they are gonna be a soft close with the brush nickel handles on them. I'm gonna give you a static shot of underneath this sink, cause it'll be very tough for you to see under here, but you've got two shelves uh, in the top, in the very back of the top shelf, you'll have the filter for your filtered water that you can change. The rest is just storage space. So we'll give you a shot of that. Next to that is a bank of drawers. Again, metal glides, nice drawers set and the soft close with the nice stainless handles on them. Do you see how easy that closes? And you have four drawers. I love drawers when we're camping. So much easier to uh, pack things, store them, get to them easily so you're not trying to find them in the bottom of a tub or a basket. Let's take a look at the stainless front refrigerator. This is an eight cubic foot. This is your freezer. It is going to be a gas electric. The refrigerator opens out so that it's really easy to get to when you're cooking or putting things away, doing dishes, putting your groceries up. But if you happen to be on the other side of the galley, it's super simple to be able to grab the door, open it up and still get into the refrigerator. All right, well, let's go look at the dinette area and the storage. So across from the galley is the dinette on this Eagle Cap 1165. It's very comfortable. The cushions are super soft. This is the thermoformed uh, granite-like countertop, just like you have in the kitchen. It's almost a matte finish, so it's gonna be very durable over the years. Is plenty of seating for four people. Play games, have dinner. Nice blackout shade on the window. This color that you're looking at is Domino. There are two colors available. The Domino that you're looking at here and the other one is Denim and it's gonna be more of a gray tone. This has the brown leatherette with it with a nice clean pattern that's a, a chocolate brown and a beige. So if you like the gray tones, then you'd wanna look at the Denim color. Let's, uh, let's look at how this goes down. This does make a bed. It's gonna be about five feet long. It's got the, the bar underneath that you just move to one side and then you simply push down. And when you push down on the table, you can put it down, bring these cushions over it to make the bed. When you're done, pull the table back up and then just flip the piece over and it's locked in. Very simple. All right, behind it, Oh, before we go there, here is your uh, USB charges and a 12 volt plug. So this is a nice charging port underneath your 110 plug. So makes working at the table or hooking up any appliances, any computers, anything that you'd like on the table makes it super easy. Back here is the wardrobe area. Now, can we get a good shot in here? Kind of at a different angle. Up at the top, you've got the hanging rail. Now remember we had this one also in that small cabinet by the entry door, but you've got another one back here. You could always build your own shelving or stacking here, but I love the wide space. Sometimes when cabinets are narrow, you're limited on what you can fit in there. This is a really nice wardrobe area. Underneath, You've got drawers. Now you notice it takes a bit of a tug to open these because all of the drawers in this camper have a magnet on them to help keep them closed. So you've got two drawers underneath here and of course they have the soft close like the rest. The magnet on these drawers is underneath so you don't see it. The two drawers underneath the dinette, 
the magnets are on the side. So let's look at these. Now this one has the table. Remember when we looked at the theater seating, one had a table on it and one didn't. You can store the extra table in here if you're not using it. Just push it and it's gonna have the soft clothes and the magnets as well. So you've got drawers under both. On the back side of the galley across from the dinette, you have a 110 plug. We're using it for our camera right now. And then you've also got the stereo. Now this stereo is gonna run DVDs. Uh, it can also, of course, play your music. Underneath, this is gonna be your converter. It's where your breakers and fuses are. A lot of people ask about this. Very easy to access. The back of this also has an internal piece that's gonna do a smart charge on your battery to be sure that uh, it's trickle charging the battery. However, this particular unit has a solar panel, so it's gonna be working on that as well if the sun is out. Now at the end of the galley, down here, you've got controls for your water pump, your water heater, and some lighting. Easy to flip on and off, and they're gonna light up. So you can see, this is gonna be your entry light and your porch light. See, we've got those on. Now this is gonna check your levels in your tanks. If you push that, this is a digital readout. You don't have to push the button for every tank. It will give you the full readout on all of them. And it will turn itself off here shortly. You don't have to do it. Freshwater tank is empty, your gray tank is empty, and your black tank is empty. Next to that, this is to start your generator and of course it'll give you the hours on it. It also has an indicator for a service required or anything up here if this light comes on. Easy start and stop on the generator. I love that these are out of the way. They're not really part of the decor like they are in a lot of campers when they're up high. It's kind of down low so you don't have to look at it a lot. Anyway, that's those controls. Let's take a look at the bathroom and then the bedroom. Okay, so in the dry bath here on the Eagle Cap 1165, you've got the same nice countertop that you had in the other areas. They have a, a stainless steel sink with the brushed silver faucet. It's a two handle faucet. I love the storage in here. Let's see, let's start over here. You've got a pull out with two shelves that are adjustable. So you can fit all of your bathroom needs in here. Underneath, you've got a plug, the 110 plug. Cabinet under here for more storage. And then over here, underneath the sink, kind of hard to get a shot of, but let's give it a try. This is not only access to the wiring, the plumbing, and the vents, but you could put a little light storage in here. I probably uh, wouldn't put anything more than a few rolls of toilet paper or something, because what you don't want to do is crush the venting or, or disturb the wiring or the plumbing, but you could fit maybe a few light things in there if you needed to. Again, access to all of the workings of this, if you ever need service, is so important. So there is also a service panel up above the toilet on the back of the wall. Below that is a towel rack. So you can hang a towel here. And then there is also in the shower another rack for towels. You can put hangers on it and hang clothes to dry, whatever else you need. But another fold away hanger in the shower for drying. And it clips right in so it won't hit you in the head when you're in the shower. Now I'm going to step in the shower, give you a feel for the size of it. Did I mention that this rod comes all the way out? It swivels in when you're not using it, but to give you more space in the shower, it swivels out so you have plenty of elbow room in here. All right. 
The shower head actually moves up and down on the pole. So if you're short like me, you may want it a little lower. You can always raise it up. Then you've got a, a soap dish right here. Double handles, again, the stainless, I love it. Did you notice that this is one piece molded? Starts right here, moves all the way around. No seams in the back, no seams in the bottom. Easy to maintain. You've got a large skylight. Now I'm five feet tall. This is about six foot two. So you've got plenty of headroom for most folks. One piece shower, a lip on the bottom, keep all that water inside the shower. What a great space. Let's take a look at the bedroom. So going into the bedroom area, you've got the thermostat on the wall. It's going to control your air conditioner and your ducted heating. You have a 30,000 BTU ducted heater in here. Again, this is a four season camper. You've got heated and enclosed tanks. You've got what good insulation, uh, dual pane windows. Great camper for cold weather or hot weather. All controlled right here on the thermostat. So coming into the bedroom area of this EcoCap, the first thing I notice is the window on the side. It's gonna be an egress window, it is insulated. So this is always used as your escape hatch, but it does open and give you great ventilation along with the window on the other side. Next to the bed, you will have a actual cabinet with hanging rod in the top of it. If you wanted to, again, hang some clothes here or use it as regular cabinet storage. And underneath, you've got two drawers. They've also got the ball bearings, the soft clothes, and the magnets to keep them closed while you're traveling. Coming across, you've got reading lights just above your head here on both sides and a shelf. Great place for books. Uh, your glasses, anything else that you want to keep by the bed. But on the far side, instead of a full cabinet, you've got the lower cabinet with the beautiful marble-like marble top on it and a drawer underneath. I love having drawers on both sides of the bed. And the cross ventilation up top above your head. This is the Heike roof vent that has the blackout shade and the screen, so you can use either one. It is an insulated window that opens. Again, more ventilation up here in the sleeping area. Let's see if we can take a look at the TV and the wardrobe. So as you come over to the wardrobe on this side of the bed, on the end, you've got the charging port where you've got a 12 volt plug in, you've got two USBs and a 110 plug. more hanging space or closet space with the magnet to hold the door closed on this mirrored piece right here. And then in front, the 28 inch television. Such a comfortable space. You can lay in bed, watch TV, have everything that you need nearby, lots of ventilation and be refreshed and ready to have another great day of camping in your Eagle Cap 1165. Let's take a look on the outside of this camper. Okay, everybody, now we're gonna look at the outside of the 2019 Eagle Cap 1165. So your entry door, 26 inches. You've got the keyless entry, makes it super simple to get in and out of it without carrying a key. Folding lift assist handle, I love this because it opens out to give you a very solid handle as you're walking in the camper. This is the electric awning. Now electric awnings make it so nice to put out the awning for just a few minutes, put it right back in because it's not a project. You just push the button, it comes out, push it, it goes back in. If you just wanna sit in the shade for a few minutes, have a cool glass of tea, not a problem. All right, so moving to the front of this galley slide. Uh, before we move up there, this is going to be the vents for, remember, you've got an eight cubic foot refrigerator in this. 
So this is the venting for the refrigerator, the vent above the stove, and then let's see if we can look underneath this wing first. Down here you'll see they've got the diamond plate on the riser. Helps protect it because you can easily rub up against this when you're loading it. Uh, you've got the LED lights here. These LED lights are great for ambiance at the campsite. But the other thing I like about them is that they make it easier to load at night or if it's getting dark. You can see under here, see where your truck is. Now this piece right here is going to be your 110 plug. Again, your truck's going to be just inside of this, so this lighting and this 110 plug will be available to you. It's a good time to mention that this is a welded aluminum frame. So these tie downs underneath here that you saw, they are bolted through very strongly attached to that frame. Don't have any uh, worries about them pulling out or not being able to take the load. Here is where the fill is for the fresh water tank. It's a 60 gallon tank. If you're boondocking, that's gonna be huge. Black tank flush. So if you hook up the hose here, turn it on, open the dump valve on your black tank, then it's actually gonna clean that tank while you're dumping. Great thing to have, keep it real clean on that black tank so you have no residual smells in your camper. Outside shower, hot and cold. The switch on the top of the handle can go, turn it on and off, so it's great for washing the dog, rinsing off the kids, doing dishes. I love the outside showers, particularly when you can get some warm water if it's a little chilly outside. This is where the water heater is. So this is the access to the outside of your water. You've got the new upgraded Happy Jacks. They are electric, push button. Swing away brackets are on this one. Generally have those on the 1165 because remember, this camper needs to go on a dually. Let's come around the front. This is a good place to show the slam latch doors so they don't have to worry about turning or latching them, unlatching them, and the magnetic catches. So when you put it up, it, the magnetic catch just holds on to it. Now these are obviously access to the gear in the front, the tanks, the tank sensors, any of the water lines up front. Drop them and they latch immediately. I love that feature. The bumpers that are going to go right up against the front of your truck bed give you a little space so the camper doesn't hit. Can we back up a little and get a picture of the nose cap here? You have a one-piece fiberglass nose cap, and last year they added the gray tones on the side. This is so nice for keeping the bugs, the pressure of that wind uh, off the front of your camper, making it very aer aerodynamic easy to take care of, and just a good solid front on this. On the driver's side, we've got some storage under the dinette here. Now in this storage compartment, again, you've got the nice slam latch, the magnetic catches. You can see you've, the cranks actually are mounted on the wall. Those are gonna be for the electric jacks. In case your electricity fails, you'll have a way to raise and lower those jacks. The electric cord is in here. Uh, you can keep it lots of places, but that's where it is right now. We actually have this camper plugged in, so when you see that, that is our cord, not the one that comes with it. Can we look underneath on this side a little bit? You've got a center of gravity marker on the Eagle Caps. Be sure you're loaded safely. You can see, again, there's an LED light. It's easy to see the bolt through on the tie downs. Now back here, this is gonna be the plug for plugging into your truck. Your camper has to be connected to your truck, of course. So Eagle Cap uses a seven-way plug that can either go behind your camper or if you have a fifth wheel plug, it can plug into that. 
Very simple to uh, plug it into your truck. Behind this slide out, the 2500 Onan generator. At the end of the galley, we had the push buttons for the generator. This is just the outside access for maintenance. This has a 30,000 BTU ducted furnace, so here is your furnace outlet. Cable hookup right here. This will be your city water connection, which means if you're running off the hydrant and not off the fresh water tank, you just connect the hose right here. Underneath, here's your drain valve for your black and your gray tank. A sewer hose holder right behind that, so it's all very accessible right next to each other. Now, there is a lot of storage and access underneath the rear, so that's where we're going to go next. And in order to show you that better, we're going to close this rear slide. But before we do, I want to point out the frameless windows. Remember, these are dual pane windows, so they keep the inside cool or hot, depending on the temperature outside. They're going to make it very comfortable inside. These dual pane windows and the, the frameless ones are so nice because you don't have that clamp ring that can get loose and cause leaks. So this is the windows that you want if you are looking for problem-free windows that will keep you nice and comfortable on the inside. You'll also look up and notice that these have slide-out covers on them. These slide-out covers have an anti billowing feature. Sometimes slide out covers can tend to flap in the wind just a bit. These come out and in as the slide outs move so you don't have to do anything. They are part of your slide out. But it's a great feature to have this style. They come out, cover the edges. Makes for trouble free camping. On the back of the rear slide out, there's a fat tube ladder. This one is a black powder coat. Gives you access when this is closed. It gives you access to the roof with, of course, a nice TPO roof, 12-year warranty, and a nice walk-on feature in case you want to get up there for maintenance or cleaning or just to check out what's around you by standing on the roof. So we're going to put this slide out in and show you the compartments underneath. Okay, at the rear of this Eagle Cap, we've put the slide out in to be able to show you some things. At the top, you can see the wireless backup camera. Under that, you'll see the awning that was over the slide out that goes in whenever you put the slide out in. There's nothing you have to do. The fat tube ladder on this side so you can get up on the roof. And underneath, you have three compartment doors. The first one, is going to be your battery compartments and it holds two deep cycle marine batteries. You can see the straps and the wires that connect to it. The next compartment right here is a large storage compartment and you've got the two controls right over here, one for the gray tank, one for the black tank. This camper has a, a battery disconnect above that so you can disconnect the battery when it's in storage. You can see in front, there is all of the controls for the jacks and the slide outs. This cord is to actually plug in your remote there if you need to access them directly and get power to that control. Everything is available for servicing, so it's, that's a very nice feature in this camper. You do have a light. Again, great at night if you're using this for lots of your storage. These actual twist valves on the top are so that you can have low point drains and drain the water lines on this camper. I love the way everything is so accessible here. The last compartment has your two propane tanks. Now these are seven and a half gallon, 30 pound propane tanks. So you've got 15 gallons of propane on this unit. Automatic switch over, of course, so that when one is empty, you can switch right over to the other one. 
LED lighting. This Eagle Cap 1165 is such a great truck camper and you know, one of the things that we get a lot of questions on is pricing. Very difficult to say pricing, but if you want to range, the MSRP on this camper with all the options that you have seen, including this 100, 100 watt solar panel that's on the roof, I'm not sure we talked about that, um, but that is included on this camper. It has an MSRP right around 60,000. Again, you know, dealer prices are gonna be different and it also depends on what's on the camper. So the options that are available on this truck camper, let's talk about outside. The options are gonna be the generator, the 2500 watt own-end generator. Now you can get a camper that's just gen ready and that works as well. That is another option you can get. This one is gen ready and it has the generator installed. You've got the patio awning that has the LED light strip at the end. That's a great feature. Uh, you've also got a roof rack system. We didn't talk about that. We'll try to get you a good shot of that. That is an option on this. Swing out brackets in the front so it works with your dually. And now the solar panels, you can get a single 100 watt solar panel or you could actually add a second one if you want it up there. Now on the inside, you've got theater seating. That theater seating replaces a standard sofa on the back. So the theater seating is optional. Do you remember that water filter at your sink? That's an option as well. That little spout that has the filtered water for drinking water. Um, so the two TVs and the air conditioner are also options. If that helps give you an idea of what has been added to this camper, those are pretty much all the options that you can get on an Eagle Cap. I believe most of them are on here. We've taken a look at them today. And uh, if you have any questions that we haven't covered on this Eagle Cap 1165, I hope you'll give us a call. Remember to comment below. We love your comments. Happy to help you there as well. And subscribe if you would like to see more walkthroughs. Thanks for watching. Come see us here at Princess Craft RV.